What's up YouTube? It's your girl Mashira and I'm back at it again with another YouTube video. And in today's video, I am coming to you guys with a palette review. So I got this palette from Target a long time ago like months ago and i've never even used it i i did take it out of the package and open it up and look at the shades um but i didn't do anything other than that so today we are going to do a official palette review and really test it out i haven't used a palette from like i guess a drugstore palette in a long time so like I don't know how this is gonna work out. I'm definitely gonna try to make a look that's comparable to something that I would always do. So I'm really gonna let you guys know how I like this. So this is Color Story Velvet Rose Pressed Pigment Palette. And I think it comes just like this. I don't think it has a box. I would've kept the box. But this is how it looks, guys. So the back just has all the different pigments and then it has the ingredients. Um, and then on the sides, it has like little tape to seal it so that way you can't open it. I may have, so, okay, so you can open it and it has a little mirror there, which I think is so cute and helpful. I love when my palettes have a mirror and all of these shades are really brown. So we're definitely going for like a smoky eye effect today. We're going for a smoky eye effect. We're gonna go for like my kind of go-to. So I'm kind of excited about that. But you can take the tape off on the side. I'm just gonna put it down anywhere. And we're gonna get into some swatches. I've never swatched on my channel, um, but we're gonna do it today. So I'm gonna give you guys a really good view of the pigments. So that way you can have a reference to what I'm doing. And I guess I'm just gonna roll up my sleeve here and give you guys some swatches. So I'm going in with Fair, the, verse, the very first color. Looks like one of the lightest. And we're gonna come down here. And I have a rag here that I'm wiping my finger off with. Not really pigmented at all. Let me go over it one more time. So first things first, these are just not that pigmented, but that's to be expected when you're working with um, drugstore makeup. Going in with the next color, Tool. Also not very pigmented. Sweetheart. Hopefully you guys can see these. More of a pinkish, Peaches, peachish <laughs> suede. And I notice, I mean, I don't really like the formula because as I'm like going into it, it's starting to clump up. Let's do Dusty Rose. Dusty Rose is like the most pigmented one so far. Madeline and they're like mostly shimmers which is okay it's okay oh Madeline is pretty what do you think Cypress is kind of dark it looks like one of the darkest shades so this is what I would be using to smoke out my eye but it's not that pigmented guys and it has a purple undertone Hopefully you guys can see this really well. So, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go in with Antique Pink. Antique Pink, ooh. I really like Antique Pink. I really like that. I didn't have to go over it twice. It's very pigmented, so we're probably gonna use that color today. And swatching your colors really kind of gives you a good idea of like what you want to use and what you don't want to use and what's going to look good and what might not look as good. Um, and what could be used for what. So I'm going in with Laced Up. And I have to go over this twice because it's really just a shimmer, a nice little shimmer. Do you mind like this? <laughs> I'm getting all the way up to the top, y'all. 
I don't think if I do it like this that you'll be able to see anymore. I'm gonna have to go a little bit further up. Or I'm gonna start on my other arm. So Muse is a gold color. Oh, it's actually kind of cute. It's kind of cute. Mm -hmm. Twilight. Ooh. Twilight. I'm finding that I have to go and in, go into these twice, which is it's okay. Retro gay. I don't know, guys. What do we want to do today with this palette? Retro gay. I am feeling retro gay. These, the colors, like the first half of the palette is like a look. And then the second half of the palette is another whole nother look. That's like how I feel. <laughs> Katarina. Katarina. Ooh, super pretty. I thought I wasn't going to like it, but I think I'm going to like it. Truffle is another dark. Ooh, okay. This one is kind of, it's flaking as I'm trying to do this. So let me do it one more time. The formula is not that great at all. But this is, okay, so the other dark tone, I was thinking that I might be able to use as like, I don't know, that one's, I'm not happy that that one is like, not doing what it's supposed to do. Okay, we're going into Star Starlet. Ooh, this is like something you can put on your lid. To make it pop, 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 pop. Are we getting in? Let me get some more of Starlet. Oop, went into the wrong one. Starlet. I still have no idea what kind of eye look I want to do. Last color is Amethyst. And ooh, you guys, Amethyst. I'm leaning towards the gold and that dark brown. And then I'm also liking um, the sweetheart, that matte sweetheart, but it's a little bit of shimmer. And I'm liking the amethyst. So I don't know where I'm gonna go with this. And I'm also liking, what is this one? It's the second one down. Oh, Twilight. Twilight is looking bomb too. So I think I'm gonna go for something just really crazy. I'm gonna go wash these off. I love them. And we're gonna try to come up with a really nice look. I think I'm also gonna like do my foundation first and then come back and do my eyes. So I'll be back. All right, so I'm back guys. I just did a super light foundation, like not as much as I usually do because I'm getting into just using less foundation. I actually have to get me a powder that is kind of the same color as my skin tone so that way I can use powder underneath my foundation. I know, I know, I know, I know that sounds like it's gonna be really cakey, but I'm gonna try it out. Um, it's a new thing that Jackiana just like gave us a tip, a trick. And so, yes, I'm using a damp beauty blender, the one that I use for my foundation, and I'm taking it into my Laura Mercier setting powder. And I happen to put my hand on my Vaseline, so why not put some, why not put some on? I've been using this little mirror that came with the palette, so why not? Um, the places that I would normally put concealer, I'm just placing some setting powder to give it a light effect without putting the whole concealer and all that kind of stuff on it. Mm -hmm. And that's typically what I would do if I don't put concealer on. It just put some setting powder on it, baby. And I'm gonna take this brush and wipe it on off. Cause sometimes I let it sit and sometimes I don't. I do my makeup different all the time. Um, and today is a lazy makeup day. Um, going in with some setting spray really quickly. And as I let this dry, going with that 
sponge and I just press the powder in. We're just gonna press the powder in. Press my foundation in too. Shoot. Press it on in. Press it on in. Make it look like my skin. I want it to look like it's my skin. And you can tell that I don't have heavy coverage because you can still see this and you can still see this really prominently, but I really don't care. I'm going for a light foundation. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we're going to move on to the shadow. I still haven't really given too much thought to exactly what I'm going for, but let's just dive in, let's just do it. And we're going to go where it takes us. I think I'm going to go for something extreme because these colors are kind of... So let's get started. I'm gonna go in with my blending brush. Cause I always go in with my blending brush first, just to test out the color. I'm kind of cleaning it off. I need to get some like brush cleaner. I think I'm going in with retrograde. Galactical. <laughs> I'm just gonna put retrograde right on the top of my lash, like because we're gonna be buffing everything out on top of it. And I kind of just poked retrograde in there because it gave it like a cave look, and I don't know. I kind of like it just ever so lightly blending it all out all right so now that we've got retrograde on top I want to I don't know what I'm gonna do I want to go in with that amethyst and put it right underneath oh that just brought it to life that amethyst just set it off set it off in this ma putting it right underneath in my crease this little brush here and I kind of want to pop out the top I want the top to be like hello we're here we're doing something so I'm gonna go on with that starlet Ooh, I'm scared and I'm putting that just right here right here on the edge it's kind of like hey we're here hi don't forget about me up here I'm a whole nother separate unit. I'm just going in with that starlet. And blend that into the top color. So you see how that kind of changed it up? Just that ever so slight starlet at the top there. Um, let's go in with concealer because I'm gonna do my scoop to doop doop. We're gonna do a scoop to doop doop today. If you don't know what a scoop to doop doop is, you gonna learn today. You gonna see today. You gonna find out what a scoop to doop is today. Okay, let me stop. <laughs> Going in with the same, well, with a very light concealer, the same one that I always use, LA Pro Concealer. I don't know why I'm using this brush. But anyways, we're gonna make a scoop to do do. And I'm not gonna talk while I do this. scoop to do do and if you still don't know what that means which I don't know why you would but because <laughs> I make up stuff I was gonna do like a full-on concealer cat eye cut crease thing I'm just doing it right here in this area centralized in the middle Look. 
but so far so good i'm really liking these like more pigmented colors because it's like there but it's like pow. all right guys we're gonna go with two different colors just because i don't know i'm feeling it i want to see how it looks i want to see how it do what it do just going in with a flat brush i'm just experimenting today as you can see guys i'm going in with muse for the gold and madeline so just see Block, have an after party. You been on my mind, you my mocha latte. Some so fine like wine and hot taste. You can ride a pony like then you I say. Had a dream, I was dreaming about you. I ain't afraid to say it. I've been dreaming about two tears in the bucket, two kids in the back bucket. Maybe later, right now, bumping grinds. And you want to see me later? Top speed, how I send the text. Meet me in a cream dress. You be saving four cases, want you close to forever. So I'm like, now or later, I'm just saying. Okay, so sweet. Baby. Eating kale all summer, but you love me. Let your old man know he don't know me. I don't want no drama, I just want peace. But I ain't never ever scared of a two piece. Look, I ain't hearing what you're saying. I've been smoking on the loud, say I never pay attention, but I know what you about, and I got to get it where I thought you said it was a drought, oh no, oh no, we can keep it on the low, we can keep it on the low, whoa, 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 whoa. do your mans gotta know, do your girls gotta know, oh no, oh no, you can back that ass, I can back, 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 for sure, for sure. Do your mans gotta know, do your girls gotta know, wait, meet me on the block, have an after party, you been on my mind, you my mocha latte, something so fine like wine and hot taste, you can ride that pony, I'm genuine, look, meet me on the block, have an after party, you been on my mind, you my mocha latte, something so fine like wine and hot taste, you can ride that pony, like genuine, look, meet me on the block, have an after party, you been on my mind, you my mocha latte, something so fine like wine I'm going in with truffle. Hey, I'm genuine. Wait, you me on the block, have an after party. You been on my mind, you my mocha latte. Some so fine like wine and hot taste. You can ride the pony like genuine, say. I'm genuine. I'm genuine. I'm genuine. I'm genuine. I'm genuine. I think lust is blind and love is why. She said, if you in between, then you out of time. I said, bitch, don't be acting like you gave me time. You only love me when a nigga is about to rhyme or when I get your ride. Look, it's five in the morning and I want a vibe. Don't be touching on the functions all up in my ride. Is you crazy? Is you crazy? Mama raise you right. No, you got some daddy issues, but you call me poppy. Shit is getting kind of Using Starlet on the inner corner. All right, let's do under eye. Under eye, I'm gonna go with Retrograde. The very first color. Watch on the motherfucking vibe from my finger down your spine. Can we play a little drive? Have relaxation, soul in my mind. Little shot day, little belly ray. Ain't no power 98. Crazy how you shut it down. Let me play a little Drake. Put your seat back. Don't forget to wear your strap. Know the world getting great. I just copped a little tank. Baby, baby, it's the eighth. We gon' be okay. Lady, I just ride around. Look. I'm gonna do my eyeliner mascara and put my lashes on, and I will be right back to give my final review. I'm out, man. I'm gonna shift lane like niggas slow down. Get your seat 5 0. Nah, baby, I don't see nobody around but you. Been down for you. Drop out, but I go cum loud for you. Make a sound when you fall, I'm round for you. Like my, what a crack step round you know for you. What to do. Shorty, when I'm coming through. Sound so classic, buddy, no. Slide out, put the camera phone. You know what to do. Shorty, when I'm coming through. Sound so classic, buddy. No. Slide out, put the camera fall. You know what to do, shorty, when I'm coming through. Who are you and who are you? Slide out, put the camera fall. You know what to do, shorty, when I'm coming through. When I'm gone, I'm missing you. Slide out, put the camera fall down.
guys, so it is honest review time. I'm gonna rate the palette from one to 10, and we're gonna the palette. Once again, this is the Velvet Rose palette that I got from Target. But yeah, so here is my eye look. Did really simple look, put a little bit of lip liner and Vaseline on my lips. Didn't do that much foundation or anything like that. I didn't even contour if it looks contoured because I did it with my foundation. But yeah, so it's a pretty decent look to be honest with you. I would rate the shadows a six out of 10. And the reason why is because one, they weren't that, that pigmented. They're okay, like you can see the gold peeking through. The gold is okay. There were some shades that just weren't pigmented enough at all for me. Um, like the first half of the palette was just really light and not like, mm, not memorable, if you will. Um, I thought Madeline was gonna be a little bit brighter than it was. I have Madeline right here. It turned me for a loop. It wasn't as bright as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, so my expectations were the lighter shades were gonna be a little bit brighter, but they weren't. Um, and these were a little bit more pigmented down here, so I really kind of gravitated more towards those. Um, but yeah, so I'm giving it a six out of 10. Oh, and then also it gets some points taken off because it started to get drier than it already is underneath where, where I put starlight. So I don't know if that's due to starlight. I don't know if that's due to my face just being dry, but I definitely moisturized before I did this. So yeah, but I mean, it's expected that a drugstore eyeshadow is gonna be less pigmented but I guess I'm just being really, really picky. Now, 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 ladies and gentlemen, even though I gave it a six out of 10, would I use it again? Yes, I would. I would use these to complement some of my other colors that I have in my other palettes. I do a purple look with my um, butterfly effect palette and I could go in with some purples because this is very purpley. So I could go in with that and I can really like use amethyst, um, all that good stuff. So yeah, so I would do it. This is really cute. It's really good. I can work with it They weren't like super dull, but alrighty guys I can talk on no 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 yes, but I'm gonna let you guys go And I mean like when I let you go At the end of this video, there's gonna be suggestions of other videos of mine that you should watch So I make videos other than makeup videos so I'm gonna put them like on the end screen and you're gonna click it, right? You're gonna click it and you're gonna watch it, right? So you can see what I'm about, right? I see you nodding your head. I see you nodding your head. I think you're gonna do it. But alrighty guys, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I love you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. I hope you guys are really loving Sure November. I've got some other good videos coming up for the next half of November. So I hope you guys stay tuned and watch them. But all right, guys, like I said, I'm not going to keep you forever and ever because at the end, you're going to have to click on another video of mine to watch. So all right, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.